we go. Hello, welcome to Happy Talk. Another week, another day, another hour to talk about happy things. Yes, I hope you're all feeling good because today we are going to be talking about goodness, promoting goodness in the workplace, promoting goodness, marketing it to everybody. Now, how that is done? Well, we have people here who are willing to share what they do in their workplace. Now, to do good though, however, you must feel good. So I hope you're all feeling good. You're not feeling good? Okay, you know what to do. At the start of every show, what do we do? To help us feel good, to remove all those tension spots, we do the happy dance. Yes, okay. Follow what I tell you to do, and do what I do. All right, I'll play some music. This is from the Unlimited, the CD Unlimited by Dyna Records. Okay, so follow me. Are you ready? Here we go. Hit it, my show. All right, start first with our face. Move the muscles of your face. Move everything, okay? Your nose, your ears, and everything. Go. Do things you've never done before. Yeah. Your ears. Yeah. All right. Now, your face and your hands. Now, with your arms. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay, now, go up, buddy. With your face. And your arms. No, no, yeah. no, 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 Do things you've never done before. Stretch no, no, those muscles. No, no, now, whole body. Yeah. Good. Stretch it. Okay, and now let's do the breathing exercise. Okay, we breathe in and out. And while we're breathing in and out, you think of the air that's going into your body and out of your body, all right? Okay, here we go. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. So, are you now feeling good? If you are, let's rumble! See you in a while! Our first set of guests are doctors. Not just ordinary doctors, but well-respected doctors in the field of internal medicine. Not only that, they have so many patients that go to them, yet they've been kind enough to accept our invitation to share with us goodness, how do you promote goodness in the workplace and uh, to their patients. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. James and Dr. Carlo. Thank you for coming, for joining us in the show. Dr. James, uh, Dr. Carlo. Uh, doctors, maybe we can start by uh, telling us a little about yourself. We start with Dr. James. I'm Dr. James Go, and I uh, practice at uh, 
Metropolitan Met Doctors uh, Metropolitan Medical Center. Okay. Okay. And um, my field is internal medicine. General internal medicine. Yeah, general medi okay. internal medicine, sir. Dr. James, you married? Um, yes, I'm married and I have uh, three children. Mm -hmm. And my eldest happened also to be a doctor, a practicing doctor. Uh, she's having her residency in Peja. Tricks. Did you tie her neck and make sure she became a doctor? Uh, no. No, no. <laughs> okay. Well, to make it more funny, actually, when I asked her why she chose to uh. go into uh, to be a doctor, uh. she said because there are so many giveaways <laughs> <laughs> coming from the bed breaths. <laughs> okay. uh, probably that is an encouragement. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> good reason. Good reason. <laughs> How about you, uh, Dr. Uh, Carlo? Yeah, I. Uh, I'm also an internist. Uh, I practice at uh, FEU and RMF Medical Center in Fairview, and also in Kamuning, where I, I can stretch my time from 4 to plus, 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 even 9, even 10 o'clock in the evening. Because, you know, you have, as you said, I have, pag nakapila na yung nag-iisa kong pasyente, Mahaba yun. <laughs> okay, anyway, my wife is also a pediatrician. She okay. walks side by side with me. Mm -hmm. And I, all, I have three daughters. Two of them are already doctors. One is already uh, so, uh, finished internal medicine. Uh -huh. He's supposed to be consultant. And, but she opted to go on fellowship uh -huh. in pulmonary. So she's the chief fellow of the pulmonary section of the St. Luke's Medical Center. Uh -huh. My do second daughter is also training in pediatrics, mm -hmm. and my youngest is turning to be an intern, hopefully next semester. What is this? I mean, is this genetic? <laughs> if you're a doctor, uh, your children would become doctors? Uh, I was trying to, uh, okay, anyway, I was trying to uh, dissuade my youngest. Sabi ko, mas maraming kinikita yung nursing. Sabi naman sa akin. Hey, Daddy, uh, the problem is everybody's talking medical. Right. And then suddenly I come to be a nurse. Oh, I don't like that. Right. Uh, so, better, mag Do doctor na lang. Right. Okay. Doctor, the, the topic for our show today is uh, marketing goodness. Okay? And, uh, and um, you've got patients. And I know it's your doctor's creed to truly care for your patients. All right? And... Um, one doctor was telling me, uh, yes, our creed is not only to prescribe medicine, but also to help them live quality lives. Is, is that so? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, and, uh, uh, but however, uh, uh, as you said, you have a lot of patients. And how do you do this? I mean, you know, you've got 30 patients in one day. Other than prescribing, what do you do to help them become uh, healthier, happier? Dr. Takala, yeah, for me, um, that's the reason why my clinic has a lot of these charts, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, you have pictures on the complications of hypertension, complications of so many, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and even complications of smoking. I even have my laptop beside me mm -hmm. when I need to show them some small things like the bad effects of cigarette mm -hmm. smoking. Fun. Well, actually, when you do this to the patient, explain to them properly well there is already a big point there. You show sincerity. That's yes. the secret of yes, getting yes. a lot of patients. Sincerity. If yes. you really sincerely want to help treat them. them, to help them, they will respond in warmness. What about you, Dr. James? I think you have really to show the care. Once you care for someone, and then uh, it's not uh, really asking uh, uh, what is your problem, but rather what do you want me to do? Okay, can I help you? Can I relieve your pain? Okay, they come to you actually with their own concept of uh, what they need. Okay, so by showing their pain, probably sometimes we do need some touch, right? Uh -huh. We can have uh, using uh, all the digital gadgets, okay? We can free consult over the internet or whatever, uh -huh, uh -huh. but it's better <coughs> to have the patients coming to your oh, front yes. so you share their cares not all that's holistic as right. much as possible right i like that word holistic yeah, yeah. you know i'm okay. a bad patient <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I, mean to say, I don't really follow what the doctors tell tell me uh -huh. until one day 